Tiger Lily Squad, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Was hey? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Was Tiger Lily? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Tiger Lily Squad gang gang. How you living? How you reading? How you feeling? Finger up. Hello. Like this hand, I could do this, but this hand is just like, child, we ain't doing that. Anyways, how you living, how you feel, breathing, how you feeling? It is your girl, Essence of Shade, back in the building. Let's get right into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, though. We'll pause. Did we do it? Okay. So, y'all loving my hair? She growing, for sure. She doing her thing. Trish is growing. Trish is growing. But in this video, we will be talking about the set my seven tips for starter locks. This is what I think has been working. This is what I seen people have been talking about, and I've been trying it since I started my lock, my second set, and it actually has been working for me. So I felt like it's imperative that I share this with you because a lot of people if you're not following me on instagram they're just like yo shay how are you getting your hair to just like flourish and it's only been two three months i got you sis or i got you homie or i got you brother or i got you fam what's up king queens i got you i got you um so number one number one moisturize 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 let me show y'all something this is my money tree and i've had this is flatbush brooklyn in the house and i've had her for about six months you see she has some plants here that are like extra like the tips are like dried out um there's one right here that i had to break because it dried out and this is because life got in the way and i wasn't watering her as much as i normally do or consistently as i did this can be said for your locks if you do not water or moisturize your hair and moisturizing your hair we all know is what not oil <laughs> moisturizing your hair you need some kind of water soluble to do so but also you need the oil to seal it in um so a combination that i always tell people is rose water vitamin e if you don't i'm not a fan of rose water um distilled water filtered water vitamin e um if you feel like regular water is just too drying try some aloe vera juice with the water, vitamin E, blah, blah, blah. Or you can just support a black owned business as myself and go to www.essenceofshade.com slash collections and purchase you my moisturizing hair spritz, which we will be coming out with refill bottles so you don't have to keep purchasing the spray and just have like six to seven bottles just sitting around in your house. I got you. Number two is just to protect your locks. I think that's simple. I think you already know what to do. The elements outside, the things that happen in life, just protect it, wrap it. Um, try to put silk. If you can't do the silk route, try brush your hair every single day. Once you put on a hat or a scarf or whatever you do, just brush it and just help it not collect all the stuff and the elements from outside and even in your house. Number three is to develop a wash routine that is specific for you. So I can come up here and tell you exactly what I do. Everybody else can tell you what they do, but you have to figure out what works for you. Um, this journey is a personal journey. Like we all can give you tips and tricks and just our opinions about things. But at the end of the day, what i will do might necessarily not work for you and it might so every it's trial and error like a loose natural but not as deep as they go if that makes sense number four i preach this all the time use natural products 
I ain't got to go too deep in that. You already kind of know why if you've been following me for a while. Please, please, just use natural products. Number five, what you put into your body ultimately comes out into your hair. That sounds, <laughs> it sounds crazy, but it's so facts. Like if you just keep consuming junk food and you keep consuming things that are not good for you, it doesn't only affect just the vessel it affects your head top and your head top has your hair if you notice your hair drying out a lot and it's breaking out a lot and your edges seem to be not doing what it's supposed to do or sometimes you begin these patches and you're not quite sure where they're coming from a lot of times it could be a genetic thing but a lot of times it can be because of what you're digesting in your food i am somebody who is working on this because i am a foodie i just love all types of food but i also have to balance that out nobody's telling you to just be healthy 24 7 but have a balance because this is your vessel your vessel like i said includes your head top you want your locks to be flourishing and you want them to be magnifique to your standing standards you got to do what you got to do and is you got to be really careful of the things that you digest and you put into your system because it doesn't just go to the belly and the hips and the thighs it goes to your hair too trust me number six is to let your hair breathe and vibe out like leave your hair alone i feel like i did a video about this like years ago leave your hair alone like stop messing with it let your hair vibe out i'm telling y'all i sometimes i go in the shower and i don't even wrap my hair i'll just let that steam just penetrate through my 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 locks and it just like fluffes it up and it just moisturizes it and when I come out of the shower, I'll take my covered oil and literally just put it through my hands and rub it around and just massage my scalp, put it on the tips, and I just shake out my hair and just let it do its thing. To some people, this stage is not pretty. I struggle with it sometimes, but I also have to realize that my hair is flourishing even more when I just leave it be and I just let her vibe out. I let Trish do what she does and she repays me by looking good. Just leave your hair alone. And number seven, last but not least, this is a tip like a really big tip. Your hair is yours. A lot of times we come on YouTube and Instagram and we ask people like, how did it start? What did they do? What are the products they use? Da, 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 da. Uh, what's the part in the system? How many locks you got? How many times do you retwist? Da, 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 da. And these, these questions are all good and they help you in your process. But at the same time, you asking me these questions is more so in my head and for i feel like anybody else's so that you think so that you can get your locks to look like mine's and that's never going to happen and that's like no shade or no dick because y'all know i love you but let's keep it a buck that's never going to happen like no lock is the same and i feel like once we realize that oh the stress of the world will be lifted up because no lock is the same. We all might do the same exact thing for the first year of our lock. And I guarantee you, our locks will look completely different. So the, the tip that I have for you is to just embrace your journey, embrace your locks. Do what's beneficial for you and ask the important questions. Continue to educate yourself, but also know, don't beat yourself up if you don't find that your hair is growing as like the person that you that you look you like or you look up to or you just like how they locks is looking just realize that that's not gonna happen and it is okay trust me your locks are beautiful because they are yours you are beautiful because you don't look like nobody else you were unique sis king you unique and so is your hair Okay, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to y'all later. See you later, so I get
crash course Let me hide the money in the dashboard Max mad could you lost the brick inside the Porsche Goofy with the